Hello, in this tutorial I will demonstrate how to add and manage products from the frontend. First, we need to configure the component in order to allow registered users to create their products. We select registered group and set allowed for create action. We can also uh, deny deleting products but allow deleting own products. The same applies to editing and editing own products and changing their state. After saving settings we, ca we get the confirmation which actions are allowed and which are not, al not allowed. In the front-end edit tab we have additional settings such as displaying edit button in the product page of course for users who have uh, the access to edit pro this product we can limit the number of products which uh, users uh, can add uh, select uh, limit the categories to which products can be assigned etc etc these settings are pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Then we should create at least either user items view or product submission view. User products view displays all the products that a uh, given user can edit. Let's call it my products. The second menu item will be the product form. It will display uh, edit form or submission form for new product. And let's la name it product form. After refreshing the website, we have two new menu items. After clicking My Products, we cannot see them because we are not logged in. So I will have to log in with my credentials. And as you can see, there aren't any products uh, created by me. So let's create new one. I can either click Add New Button or click product form button. Test product no, number one. I assign my product to category, let's say books set its price to 99 special price to 59 and here I can submit short description and long description in the separate tabs I can upload images for instance, some wallpaper, and then hit apply. Product has been saved. Now I can edit it or go back to my products page. If the product is published, I can click on its name to browse it on the website. And here there's edit button which can be of course disabled in the configuration. That will be all. Thank you.